What's up everybody? Welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. So Subnautica is a game I've played a fair bit on the channel before and they have just released a second game essentially. Well, I think it's still on the same planet, just located elsewhere possibly. But anyway, this is an ice themed one and it's called Subnautica Below Zero. Right, let's um We've downloaded the data from Robin Goodall. So this time we didn't crash land, we just wake up in a bed at the start, so it looks like we've already got our own base and even some gear to go with it. Nice and little bit of paintings outside as well. Right, I might need to modify my settings a bit because it seems I'm currently on rather low FPS, so I'll be back in a second. Right, here we are, that's much better now. So as I was saying, game came out into early access a couple days ago and I've finally gotten the chance to actually give it a go. So it looks like we're in some kind of massive research lab and ooh there's prawn suits over there. I wonder if we can use them and if we can actually get in the doors over there. Uh, nope, door should be here. Here we go. Perfect. Right, ooh we've even got a rocket as well. Ow. Ah, okay, these prawn suits do look a little bit damaged, yeah. And I... Hey! Okay, so I'm guessing that is the research facility. That giant thing up there. So we're just going to follow straight through this little chasm. Ooh, we've even got some nice little lights. So this is a massive change from people that have played Subnautica before, because before, I'd say about a good 90... probably about 99% of your time would be spent underwater. And we've started out above land on what looks like a mountain. But we have got that constant zero meter bit on our HUD, so I'm guessing we're going to be going below water at some point at least. I'm just jumping because I think it's faster than running. Let's find out. If we run, we go like this. But if we jump, ooh. Ooh, okay, this is the giant precursor base. I think that's what it's called. Tablet. I think it's already here. That cabin isn't stable. I want you to get back to Sam. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. Oh, here's the tablet. Abandoned PDA. We search site zero. Insert it. Okay, so we're looking for a tablet that's got that pattern on it, I guess. Ooh, hang on. So maybe if we. Um, where is data downloads? Research site zero. Four five six four five four six, that might be the code. Possibly. Let's give it a go. Um can I close out of that? So we want to try four five four six? No, okay. And I don't think we can do anything with that. Right, so further attempts to enter will be dealt with forcefully. So if we try again... Nope, okay. Well, they said get out of the cavern, so we're going to leave this cavern. Um, ooh, there's another way. I think this might just take us deeper in, though. And I'm pretty sure I am already completely lost. Okay, so that's somewhere we're going to come from later and probably have to jump down. Alright. Hmm. I am a little bit lost, I'm not going to lie. 
Have we got the tablet thing here that we're looking for? Not seeing it. Okay. All right, let's just head back over towards the starting zone, see if we can get back up to that research station big building thing. Okay. Well, that's not good. What's this? No idea. Okay, so they blocked my way back. So now I've got to go this way. Oh, we're completely cut off now, aren't we? It was a trap. Hey, this is the area from the loading screen. I feel like whatever that giant robot voice was is kind of trying to shepherd us somewhere. Because it woke up and then an electrical storm came in. Okay, good. I thought it was stuck on there for a second. Right. Where on earth are we going? I literally have absolutely no idea. Ooh. Okay. We just made our way back here. Right. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah. Right, well, we did have a really nice base. I can't see any way past here. Let's, um, can we make our way down? Out. You're fine. There we go. Right. Oh, great. And now we're underwater. Oh, there's a tunnel. Tunnel is always a good sign. Okie dokie. Alright, that's noted. So I'm really hoping this is the right way to go. Otherwise we're going to be dead. Ooh, an oxygen plant. Perfect. Yes, I'm guessing we need to follow this tunnel to find our way back up to the surface. Perfect. And now we've gone round where that little avalanche was. Ooh. Okay, this is less perfect. Ooh, hang on. Is that going to be some titanium? What is that? That's a bit of copper ore. Hey! Back to the good old Subnautica we all know and love. Poking the little nodes. Hmm. Right, so... Okay, these are chunks of ice. Hey, we've found the little penguin guys! Can I get up here? Is there no way for me to get up? Oh, wow. Yeah, that was where our base was. That giant snowdrift. I can't get up. Can I take... I want one of these penguins. Robin, come in. Hey! I'm out in open water. Stay where you are. I'm sending a rescue shuttle. No, I'm okay. I just need shelter. What? No! Fine, I'm sending a temporary habitat instead. Look up. No, 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 no. No. No, send me shelter. There they are. That's what they're in. And here's our temporary shelter coming out. Why? Why would you say no to a shuttle? <sighs> right, is that coming down now? Yeah. That might take a little minute. Can I try and steal one of these penguins? I just want to be able to stack, like, walk on there. Alright. Ooh, what's this? Grav trap fragment. Ah, okay, so we're going to need to make ourselves a scanner. And we're definitely going to need to invest in one of those grav trap things as well for fish. Where's our... Um... There it is. Okay, so it's actually setting itself up 
on the bottom surface. Right, and do we go in through the bottom? No. Enter base. How didn't that fill with water? Open storage. No. Any word on Jeffries? Nothing yet. And the facility? It said my name. I need to know why. I know. Make something to eat. Get equipped. I'll have answers by then. Will do. Okay, so it looks like the resources and everything are the same as before. Right, so we're going to want to make some fiber mesh, possibly. Deployables, waterproof locker. Okay, so yeah, we just need to go and do the good old resource gathering things then. So it's cool that our pod actually sits underwater now. But the question is, where are all of the resources? I can see one little node here. Hey, a little bit of titanium. So I think what we're going to need to go for first would be, ooh, let's get some bladder fishies. Perfect. That can be picked up? No. Hmm. There's not really much in the way of nodes everywhere. There we go. So there's obviously no scrap metal because we haven't got a massive exploded ship this time. Okay, that doesn't look like it'll be friendly. In fact, it looks like it's trying to eat those other fish. Ooh, I wonder what this is. A hoop fish. Oh, I don't want to go down here. Uh, for those that don't know, I hate open water. I've got a um, horrible story about some time in open water. It was not even horrible, to be fair. It was just... I was bullied. So, I used to be member of the lifeboat crew back where I lived before coming to university and so I was in Norfolk so we had the broads there as well as the sea so we did exercises on the broads and out to sea and one of the days we went out to sea we were on the lifeboat and we were about a mile or so out to sea and they said all right you you jump in we're going to do a rescue so they made us jump into the water and we were just sitting there in our... We were properly dressed in all our lifeboat stuff. So it was cold, but not horribly. So we had a decent amount of insulation and everything. But we were just kind of stuck floating there. And then they turned the boat around and went all the way back to shore. And so we were just sitting there floating in the water whilst they just pissed off and left us sitting in the yeah sitting there so they went all the way back to shore once they got there they parked the boat back on the land and we were just sitting there waiting for them so whilst we were sitting there the um, person I was with I can't remember his name now I want to say it was Matt or something like that I genuinely cannot remember so he was a little bit behind me and he just started tapping my foot slightly trying to make me think there was something behind me. So I just, um, yeah, told him to go away, shoved him. And then a minute or two later, he did it again. So I turned around and he was about 10 feet away from me. And then a seal popped up by, uh, between us and we both just screamed and started swimming for the shore. It was, it was horrible. Yeah. But I don't, yeah, don't like open water. Now, what is it that I need to get oxygen tank? Fiber mesh. How do we make fiber mesh? That's silicon rubber, that's glass. Fiber mesh, we need creep vine samples. Oh, this game at night. Right, I am very prepared to be dead quite soon. Okay, that does not look like a friendly thing. Let's um, grab this. Ooh. Right. Uh, I do not like being underwater in this game, especially at night when you can't see anything. Right, can I please give it? Thank you. Just had to put the fish away. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Right, but I. Ooh, and it's raining as well. That's brilliant. Ooh, look. I see the planet moving past over there. There's something 
purple coming up out of the water. And it looks like it's coming towards me. I'm not going to go near that. Right, so we want creep vine seed clusters. And they should be... I have absolutely no idea because I do not know where the creep vine seed things are. Hmm. I think I was near them before, but I can't remember where I was. And that's just what we need most, so we can actually stay underwater for a decent amount of time. I think they were this way. Yeah, it looks deeper there. I think I saw the edge of one. There we go. It's got the creep vines here. Where are the seeds? Have these creep vines not got any seeds on them? They do not. Right. Hmm. This, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Just in time as well. Creep find sea cluster. Let, let me get to the surface. I'm scared. Right, so 114 meters away. Diagonally away from the mountain is where we'll find creep vines. Well, we are actually quite a fast swimmer. Considering we're barely moving our arms. That's quite good. Right, and let's dive back down to the deeps. Right, so... What is this on the top? So I'm guessing we're actually going to be able to attach bits to this if we're lucky. Now, fabricator. Yeah, that's this one. Uh, we're going to want to make... Basic materials, fiber mesh. Oh no, we need creep vine sample, not creep vine seed cluster tools. So we want silicon rubber to make a knife. Oh, okay, here we are now. Let's get silicon rubber. Perfect. Let's go equipment. Let's get tools. Get a survival knife. Make a bit more rubber. Get some flippers so we can go a little bit faster. Getting the hang of it now. Personal equipment. Fins. Right. Can we equip our fins? Yep, we've got the fins on. Got the knife on the hotbar. Perfect. Right, so it was this way by a fair chunk. Actually, no, we just need the sample now. We don't need the seeds. Perfect. Also, it looks like those creature things aren't aggressive towards us. So now if we smash away at this. There we go. Creep vine sample. Hey, and we're getting blueprints for farming these. Inventory full. Okay. But there we go. Our oxygen is much better now. I think the actual oxygen is the same, but it's just not going down as fast. I think in a little while we'll be able to upgrade our oxygen tank. Right, fabricator, personal tools. What's that? Pathfinder tool. Used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate with spaces. Okay, that'll be useful. So we want, what is it that we're trying to make now? The oxygen tank, that was it. Oh wait, yeah, we hadn't even made the oxygen tank yet. What am I on about? Wow. Must, yeah, it's just because we were actually swimming faster that I thought that. That is a big oxygen tank. Okay, we got the blueprint for a beacon, which is deployable. Air bladder. Emergency flotation device. Okay, so that'll suck you back up to the surface. So we're going to want to get a scanner. So for that, we need a battery. Electronics. Ribbon plant. Okay. That's going to be a fun one to find. Hmm. And the deployables. Now, we just got the blueprint for the beacon. Why have we not got... Where's the beacon? Hmm. Absolutely no idea. Right. So now we want ribbon plant. I'm guessing that might be this thing. Are you a ribbon plant? Okay, you are not a ribbon plant. Also, yay, it's daytime. 
What's this? That is nothing we can interact with. Right. Need to find a ribbon plant. Translation, eat food. Um, what is it we want to eat? Uh, old cooked. There we go. Perfect. Where is a ribbon plant? Is that thing a ribbon plant? A violet bow. That's creep vine. That's quartz. 30 seconds oxygen remaining, okay. I have absolutely no idea what this ribbon plant thing is. Hmm. So things are definitely different this time around. See, I would have sworn this is the ribbon plant thing. It looked like that. Maybe we've got to go right to the top of it. No, you can't even interact with it. Hmm. Take a look at the blueprint for it again. Uh, fabricator. Personal. Equipment. What's that? A pipe. Used to transport breathable air from a functional pump. Floating air pump. I swear this should all be deployables, not equipment. So now if we look in, have we got the... Nope. Hmm. Two more in here though. Computer chip and a wiring kit. Uh, nothing in there. Cooked food. Let's cook a bladder fish. Bladder fish? Wow, that was terrible. Cook a bla bladder fish. Perfect. What is violet bow? Oh, that's just a seed. Um, can't dispose of that in here. We need to go out here and drop, 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 drop. Much better, more storage now. But I have absolutely no idea what that creep vine thing is. And until then, I am slightly stuck. So I'm going to end off the first part of my Subnautica Below Zero adventure here. Most likely I'm going to be playing this game on streams instead of videos because it does feel like it's probably more suited to streaming. Let me know in the comments if you prefer streams or videos. Thanks for watching people and goodbye.